Hi guys, I want to do a quick little video. I've had a few people ask me about the travel of the CNC kit for the PM940M. So what I've done is I've zeroed the Z all the way up and the X and the Y at their full travels this way. And so what we'll do is we're just going to hit, uh, I already know what the travels are. Uh, right now if you look at Mach 3 we are at 28.9 on the X which is actually you can get 29 and technically if you put the screw in the other way with the motor on the other side you could get 30 I actually don't have enough room I run out of room here in my shop the Y gives you 13.8 and the Z will give you 18.5 from all the way down all the way up so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just click go to zero I could go a little higher with the Z, but I got my coolant line that I need to rearrange. I'm actually got a lot of very uh, things going to change on the uh, 940. I'm going to eliminate the steppers and go to a servo-driven system. I have a new chip pan 2.0 system that'll come out and replace the one that I've had on there. Um, the chip pan's working okay. I'm going to go to full flood um, with the full enclosure. So for right now, I'm going to redo the chip pan to work a little better because the flood enclosure is going to be kind of a complicated thing. So right now, for travels, we have for the Y, 13.8, X, 29 inches, and for the Z, 18.5. Now you can get 19, a little over 19 on the Z. So, and then right now, in this direction, I don't know if you can see, I could go another inch that way if I really wanted to, um, but I can't because right now it's hitting, it hits my other chip pan over here. So um, I would put the motor on the other side, but it gets in my way of getting into the toolboxes. So for right now, I just wanted to announce the final travels. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks.